Your next comic coming to the stage, please give it up for Amy, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, everyone. Are you still awake? Yes. Okay. My name's Amy. As you can tell, I'm Asian. I grew up in China for 18 years, and then in 2012, I came to live in Marco, which is still kind of China. <laughs> but I did get a little bit whitewashed, but not whitewashed enough to be a banana Asian. You know the kind of Asian that want to secretly want to be white, but also want to get as tan as Ariana Grande? <laughs> I also don't fit in with the elimination that make, want to make themselves as pale as Snow White. I identify as a corn or an omelette, or whatever food that you cannot tell if it's white or yellow on the inside. <laughs> I was whitewashed enough to join an LGBT student group back in university <laughs> as an ally, and that freaked my parents out because they believed that I would turn lesbian one day and they would never have, grand they would never have grandkids again. <laughs> and my mom is sitting right there in the audience, so I want to say... She doesn't speak English. See, she's fine. My parents were really happy to find out my first boyfriend was Caucasian because they believe that makes baby look cuter. That's how little face they have in my Asian face. But there's a huge issue about dating a white guy. We always have issue over food. For every single meal, I have to pick out all the mushrooms from his plate and finish them. Mm -hmm. In China, that's a guy's job for a girlfriend with princess syndrome. In my case, my white boyfriend was the princess. So four years ago, I flew to Calgary to visit my white princess, white family. And the first moment I walked into the door, I felt like a panda walking into a zoo full of polar bears. <laughs> And the polar bears were really nervous about hosting the exotic species. They were like, what would you like to eat? Sushi pho, chicken feet. <laughs> and I replied, don't worry, we Chinese people eat everything but bat soup. <laughs> My second boyfriend was Asian. And thank God we never have food for f issue over food again. Um, ever since then, I only dated Asian guys, and I switched from poutine to dim sum, and never turned back. <laughs> Growing up as Chinese, I had a lot of role models. For example, Chinese grandparents. They're very healthy. Every time I go to good life fitness in Markham, 80% of my Zumba class are Chinese grandmas. <laughs> that made me feel very mature. And every time I go to a party in whatever city around the world, I can always see Chinese grandparents playing Tai Chi. And that is how we Chinese people dominate the world through martial arts. <laughs> Chinese grandparents are also environmentally friendly. My grandma, even in this weather outside, will still go out, pick up empty water bottles from the grill, and sell them for a profit. <laughs> She's a great businesswoman with social responsibility. <laughs> Chinese grandparents are also great fighters. If you ever wonder what World War III looks like, go to Costco in Markham. <laughs> and just watch all the Chinese grandparents fighting over free samplers and discounted Omega-3 pills. <laughs> they fight like warriors. <laughs> As a Chinese girl, my mom thinks I'm a dishonor to the family because I'm very clumsy. Um, I have bad attention to details and very forgetful. Sorry, what did I just say? <laughs> Whatever. I have trouble using a public washroom. For example, I accidentally went into the male's washroom a million times, and that's why I'm so happy to find out my company has gender-neutral washroom. <laughs> How inclusive they are for people like me! <laughs> I also dropped my phone into the toilet several times. Everyone does that, okay? okay? So don't judge. But I once dropped a Nokia into a squat toilet. If you've never been to China, a squat toilet is this hole in the ground where you have to do a perfect Asian squat. But when I was standing up for my Asian squat, my phone slipped out of my hand. It was a Nokia phone, so a Nokia was half size of an iPhone. 
and I will at least get stuck at the toilet hole. But my Nokia got sucked right into the black hole with this deep, straight vertical tube attached underneath it, so that I didn't even hear a splash sound. I'm pretty sure my Nokia is still falling today into the center of the earth. <laughs> and that's how I got my nickname, Drop Shit Amy. <laughs> I also have trouble using a public washroom. Oh, I just said that. Sorry, I forgot again. <laughs> I, I wanted to say, I have trouble using the toilet seat. As a germaphobe, when there's no toilet seat cover available, I will use several pieces of toilet paper, make a perfect circle around the lid, so my butt will never get in touch with the germs. But because I have a short-term memory loss, like Dory, sometimes I forget about the toilet paper that I put there. Um, so there's one time I used the toilet at work, flushed the toilet, washed my hand, went back to my desk, went to a meeting, hang out with my coworkers, got off work, and then was told by the security guard that I have a white tail behind me. <laughs> and it was not even Halloween. Farewell, my professional image. My name's Amy, thanks